Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. What sustains us? Food? Family? Faith? Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. Welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. Football has referees. Baseball has umpires. Livestock shows have judges. But for a new team at Auburn University, judging is a competition in itself. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. But wait, there's Darth Vader and there's the Incredible Hulk too. Everyone who's anyone in the superhero multiverse shows up at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. And I'm Stacy Little. Today in the kitchen, I'm going to show you how to turn a few ingredients into a quick and easy weeknight meal you'll have on the table in about 35 minutes. Stay tuned. Joe Tom Armbruster was a well-known farmer in Talladega County, where his wife Jan taught art at the Alabama School for the Deaf for 30 years. In 2015, at age 67, Joe Tom passed away, but a family friend wanted to make sure his memory lived on. The friend's generous million dollar gift paved the way for a special project at the Alabama Institute for the Deaf and Blind. The Joe Tom Armbrester Agricultural Center officially opened in September 2019, just before COVID forced AIDB to make adjustments. But finally, the Ag Center is welcoming students from the Institute's three Talladega campuses for lessons in farming and life skills. When it comes to agriculture, the best way to learn is to get your hands dirty. That's true for all students, whether they speak English verbally or through American Sign Language, and whether they can easily see the task at hand or have to feel their way through it. I benefit because my class is often not even really seen as class. They think they're, you know, we're coming to have fun and it's really a work skill that, that we want to accomplish. Rachel teaches at the Helen Keller School, one of three campuses at the Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind, for students in grades pre-K through 12. That means making the Ag Center accessible is paramount, and it's not always easy. Ag is never finished, accessibility is never finished, and it's, it's going to be a process, and there's a lot to learn from that process. We just recently got the funding for the Plasticulture. This is our first year to use that approach, and there's lots of advantages, okay. but one of the reasons that I like it is when we're working with a student with visual impairments, uh, contrast. It breaks up the, the sea of either grass or dirt, and um, it allows the, the green of the plant really got to pop against that black background. The Agricultural Center is a fully functioning farm with a large teaching barn. Students plant and care for food crops in the field. They learn about animal agriculture as they collect eggs from the chicken coops. And instructors demonstrate how to use and fix machinery like tractors and planters. According to his nephew, the Joe Tom Armbrester Agricultural Center is a fitting tribute to the memory of its namesake. Joe Tom was uh, a lifelong learner. He, he you know, farmed his entire life. He and my dad were partners, and I know that he'd be proud of, of what's going on here. To have a chance to, to teach these kids, you know, where their food comes from and, and, and how important agriculture is to us and, uh, you know, the, the science and the math and the technology that's behind it all, it's really, uh, it's really rewarding. 
While Rachel students may see and communicate differently than sighted and hearing people, the message in their smiles comes through loud and clear. I get questioned a lot. Do I feel like my students are going to graduate and, and get jobs in the agriculture sector? And that's the reality is that they probably aren't. But my goal is to use ag, which is a super engaging um, activity. My, my students love to be outside. They love the animals. They love the plants. Their health improves. And I'm using the platform of agriculture to improve their overall Thank life you. quality. We asked Rachel about ways to make a farm or a community garden more accessible. She said concrete is important because it provides a smooth surface. And as she mentioned in the story, contrast in colors helps those who are visually impaired. You know, they're working on an area at the Ag Center with raised beds on concrete. But since the concrete is gray, they don't want to use the standard galvanized metal raised beds. They'll get special painted ones instead. Comic book conventions are growing in popularity. Next, we'll visit one in Huntsville where you can find true superheroes who give back to their community. Buying your first home is exciting. It can also be costly. It's a big investment with several factors to consider before signing on the dotted line. Location, property taxes, school systems, you may already be thinking about these things when house shopping. But don't forget to add quality home insurance from Alpha to the top of your list. When you find the house you're ready to make a home, call Alpha for the best coverage to meet your needs. These Alpha Insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. Alabama is a state filled with riches, like the juiciest peaches, a summer tomato sandwich, or grandma's pecan pie. But perhaps our greatest treasures are the hands that grow. From generations past through the years to come, Alabama fruit and vegetable growers produce an abundance we all enjoy. Alabama produce. It just tastes better. No matter the herd you tend to, or the type of seeds you sow, Farm Bureau Bank understands the lifestyle and financial needs of our neighbors. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. Whether it's personal or business, we are committed to serving you and your financial needs. Please give us a call and we'll get started today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and closed toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. 